How to awake your Kundalini. You surf, you look in YouTube and you find quite some people who advertise Kundalini meditations. Let's listen to one of those. This is the most effective Kundalini awakening meditation you're going to come across this year. Now here is alarm sign number one. The most effective Kundalini awakening meditation. If you follow it, it is nothing more than a simple meditation, becoming peaceful, doing some contractions of the pelvic floor and bringing awareness in the body via the various energy sarkas up to the head. Claims like the most effective are in essence just bullshit. Why do you need to be careful with these meditations? Claims like the most effective are just empty claims. Because everybody has a different spiritual pathway and a different situation if he or she starts meditating. And what is good for one person does not mean to be good for an other person. So the most effective meditation is impossible. Everyone has to explore his own spiritual path and has to explore meditations which fit and which help. And that is internal work. Let us proceed listening and detecting the bullshit from the real. Not only are we going to be using the Kundalini breath, just like Dr. Joe Dispenza uses, we're also going to be using an internal vibration of humming, just like the monks use, to prepare and stimulate the pineal gland before we do the breath. So now, a context is brought related to an authority and related to monks who do humming. And then a Western concept starts, which we have discussed elsewhere on our channel, the famous pineal gland. It is a metaphor, we know that, a metaphor for the third eye. We don't need this metaphor, moreover, the pineal gland is not relevant for Kundalini. On top of that, we're going to use all nine sofagio tones. On top of that, now comes a context which needs to impress people with frequencies and with claims like pain reduction. So it becomes really interesting. To align ourselves into each frequency to prepare ourselves, release toxins, realign our DNA. Now other claims enter the scene, like realigning DNA is a clear example of the misuse of modern scientific concepts, metaphors which do not have the spiritual depth and the spiritual tradition which the real important metaphors and symbols from the past were having. Realigning the DNA is impossible and releasing toxins with a meditation like this person presents is also a really beautiful claim with no ground whatsoever. And open up our third eye, putting us into the most complete realignment of awakening your Kundalini in a single meditation. Most complete awakening of your Kundalini. Directly you will be propelled into the divine according to this person. If you hear claims which are these extreme claims we hear here in this video, you really have to realize yourself that something strange here, something is strange here. This is more a commercial talk. This is more to lure people into a quite simple meditation, probably in order to attract attention of those who are not really meditators and have no experience, thinking that those people can be lured into watching the video and creating a platform for this video in YouTube and probably many of comparable videos 
have been created to attract people to start with these kind of meditations and expectations that you awake the Kundalini and reach the most complete state of being. This is not how spirituality goes. But you can always explore it yourself. Follow such meditation and just see if you get the promised awakening of your consciousness and Kundalini. The terms Kundalini, third eye, DNA alignments, if you find these together with the word of frequencies, I am quite sure that most often these videos are like selling the new cloth of the emperor. It sounds crazy nice, but if you really look, nothing remains. Explore it yourself.